So, what we're going to look at is UV mapping. How do we UV map? What's the tools, the processes of UV mapping? Um, and how that then translates into a program like Substance Painter or Photoshop for your textures. Um, so, the first part of this task is just quickly modeling um, an asset. I think for the uh, what we're going to do is look at sort of modeling a barrel, just because there's a lot of different shapes there. Uh, but I'll show you the basics with a cube. So, we'll just do senior and then poly modeling, make sure we're modeling. And we are then just, I'm just going to bring the cube just to sort of show you. I'm going to scale this up a bit. So the UV map is the textures uh, side of things and how they then translate onto your object. So if we go up here where it says modeling standard, just going to click on that and change over to UV editing. And let me, I just need to reset my workspace. So I just reset current workspace. There we go. So you'll see um, you have here on your left hand side, you should have your model and your, your perspective view or whatever you're using it in, and then the UV map here. Now the cube's quite simple. Um, if you ever made like a dice or anything when you like, were at school, like early school, you'll see that this then folds up to create that cube shape. Uh, Maya with the polygon primitives is really good with it because it just sort of translates perfectly. Uh, so if we were to add textures here, they then translate back onto the cube exactly sorry, in the position that it is. So what you, what we want to do is sort of look at more advanced uh, models. Sort of look at what you know we've got like big uh, sort of assets that we're creating for these rooms, um, how that then translates, and how we can sort of accurately create these UV maps. So what I'm gonna do just delete this. And I'm just going to come in here quickly create a barrel. Uh, this tutorial is not on how to model, uh, so I'm just going to really quickly make that barrel. Um, I'm not really going into much detail on it. Um, so let me go in here and just start creating a sort of barrel. Um, so all I'm going to do to start off with is get a rough shape. What I like to do if I'm using a cylinder, you've got a lot of sort of faces on the top to start off with. I like to change them to zero, just so I'm having to select every face. Um, we can then fix that later on, it's something we can then fix. So we've got this at the top of the barrel. Let's scale that out, let's uniform scale that. Bring it down a little bit. And then using the modeling toolkit, just gonna extrude that face. Um, extrude there, or control E on your keyboard. Bring it down slightly. So this is gonna be that nice little rim that you get on your barrels, you know, these old fashioned sort of, when you see them in, um, sort of pirate games and stuff like that, they have that nice little metal ring around them and uh, that's what that area is going to be, then I'm going to extrude again bring it down, start creating that shape of the barrel um, extruding again and then final one there we go that is spot on how we want it so nice and easy, um, I'm just going to select the first ring and extrude it, so just click on my extrude tool bring it out a little bit do the same with the other ring because they're going to be the same sort of thickness um, extrude just bringing it out slightly there we go and then create the top of the barrel nice and easy all I'm going to do is mesh and mirror no point bundling the bottom half if we've got the top half it's going to be the same it's going to be symmetrical so axis position just change to object and flick it over to the right axis and that's yep yeah, sort of how we want it so then edit delete all by type just three and then i'm just going to delete that edge so control and delete again we don't want to leave any vertices in so if we just press delete sometimes you see here if I just press delete it's left vertices in i don't want that i want it to be clean topology technically that is an end gone just because it's got quite a few vertices in there so just control z that Double click that edge again and control, only control and press delete. That then gets rid of any of these vertices. It doesn't leave any anything behind. So that's yeah, that's fine. So for now, let me quickly fix that top. So I'm just going to go into top view. And using the multi-cut tool, I'm just gonna fix that top. All I'm doing is select the edges. And I'm just cleaning the top up because I deleted the faces. Um, all I'm going to do is clean that top up. So, quickly bring everything.
everything into that center. There is an easier way to do it, but it starts going to other tools that we've not really touched on yet. So all I'm doing is using the multi-cut tool and fixing that top edge just to make it a nice clean topology. So I'll quickly do that. Just pressing Control, Shift and X on my keyboard. It's the hotkey for the multi-cut tool. And you'll see, to get off the multi-cut tool, it's just Q on your keyboard. That's if I remember it's like Q for quit. So it's top's done. And open the vertices and then to the bottom. So let's clean that up there. Come across here, clean that up. And then just connecting everything to that center point. You can use the pinch tool. Um, is it the pinch or the pinpoint tool? Um, or again, it's, it's just going into more advanced tools that right now we, do, we don't really need to look at. Get used to the basics. So it's coming in, multi cut tool, and fixing that up. The reason I'm doing this is it would be an end gone, um, and it just caused a few issues when we then came in to texture it. So we just want to clean that face up. That looks like we've got a bit of an issue there. Let me just delete that. And then clean that up. There we go. Oh, another one here. Let me just delete that. Come in here. Multi cut tool. So it's just this tool here. And bringing that down and connecting it. Spot on. One way to sort of figure out if your model's correct, uh, if there's any sort of hidden faces, anything like that, is I like to go into mesh. Click on this little box aside of cleanup. And just make sure faces with more than four sides is connected and faces with holes and concave faces. But it's just to sort of see if anything's going off, any faces are inside, um, if there's any sort of more than four sides. So I just click apply, have a quick look round. You'll see, got a bit of an issue here and here. So what I'll do is control Z because I want to go in and I want to clean that up. And you'll see there's just a few vertexes there that are not quite connected so let me just bring them together click apply again there seems to be another issue just these edges here I've not connected them correctly so I'll select them and just merge to center and then clean up again so mesh clean up and just see where there's any same here I've done it again because I'm not, I, what will happen there is when I'm using the multi-cut tool I've not clicked directly onto that so just highlight the two vertexes and click on this button here so that should be it that should look all clean so if we go mesh clean clean up there's nothing uh, the clean up option is good um, but I tend to just use it just to highlight problems and I'll control Z and fix it myself because it doesn't really take into consideration any clean topology it just cleans it up as easy as it can uh, to its algorithms. So let's get into that UV mapping. Got your model. Um, obviously, you might want to spend a bit more time on this, but just for the basics of this, this tutorial, it's just going to be a quick, quick model because um, I want to get into UV mapping. So up here, which is modeling standard, flick that over to UV editing. So you'll see, Maya's use the default um, UVs for it. Which you know, if we start texturing, we want to texture this metal ring here. It's not going to translate correctly. Um, there is an option for UV automatic, but I tend to stay away from that. The reason being is if we look at this here. So this is the let's find the center the just UV shell. It's separated our UV shell here. So if we were to then start to texture this in, say Photoshop or Substance Painter. And we want that to be nice and round with a nice sort of wooden texture. We're going to have to sort of texture up here, a bit of wood texture in. It's just not going to go right. Um, UV automatic's all right. It's not perfect. It sorts some stuff out really good. It's like the top of the cylinders. They're really nice and clean. They'll be all right. They'll translate all right. You see, it creates a perfect line down here um, and a few more. So when we come to then put a texture on that, it's, we're going to have to sort of spend a lot of time. Um, so sort of editing it and trying to figure out what to do. Um, but some stuff it's done it really well. But what we're going to do is just let me click UV shell and delete that. We're just going to delete them. We're going to start completely fresh with our UVs. Um, it's good practice and it sort of shows you how to fix any issues. Um, so while you're in here, what you're going to do, object mode, select your um, asset, your barrel that we're going to be using. And what I like to do is go on create, up at UV editor, create. 
and create a camera based one. That's just so we've got a reference, um, and we like to move it out here. So when you're exporting UVs, when we're doing it in Substance, it's only going to export what's in this section here. There are ways to get it to export more, but for us, we're just going to focus on this this sort of square here, this one by one square. Um, to select your UVs, just hold your right mouse button in and just click UV Shell, and it'll like, allow you to move it. And now it's just time to start cutting this up, cutting it up, and actually translating it onto your shell. Um, so over here. On your right side, you should have your toolkit. If not, it might be hid like this. Yours might be hid like mine is. You just click here and click UV toolkit. And that will allow you to sort of get up your toolkit. Now, I've got a tutorial on explaining these full, this full list here. Uh, we're not really going to do this in this tutorial because it would take a long time. It's going to turn into like a, a full hour long. Um, but that is out there. You can, you can look at that. Um, so the first tool we're going to use is cut. We're going to start cutting up, cutting it up into different sections so we then can get it accurately representing what we want it to want it want it to be uh, when we take it to substance so i just click cut and i think what i've done there yeah so don't do what i've just done i've split everything up don't do that let me just control z what you want to do is go into edge mode so right mouse click and click an edge and start selecting your edges so this is my top of the barrel so what i'm going to do is cut that and then right click uv uv shell and just move that out of the way for now and just throw it anywhere in this space then next section we want this bit here so this section here is going to be wood this bit's going to be iron so we're just going to cut that up so we click cut and then right click uv shell uv uv shell and then we click that and we just move it so you see here i am just sort of deconstructing that barrel um, <coughs> sorry for that I, so just so i can start to work everything out where everything's going to be uh, because this is all going to be iron I'm just going to leave it as one Let me, so I'm going to make a cut here and then right click UV UV shell and we're just going to move that when we flatten that out it should work um, so sort of drags it out into a long sort of straight line which will then make it quite easy for us um, and then just the same so just edge mode and start to cut that one Right click UV, UV shell, grab that, that's going to be wood, and just move some of these to the side, just because I want to keep the space here clean, I want to keep this clean for when I start to unfold things, I want to be able to put them into this space, and keep it nice and organised, so edge mode again, cut that one, UV, UV shell, select it and move it, you'll see I'm keeping everything in an order, so as we're moving down the, the model, I'm keeping everything in that, that order. Um, and then edge, cut that one, UV shell, and then just select it and start to break it down. And again, cut that one, UV shell, select it and bring it down. And then the last one is here, so cut, UV shell, bring that down. there we go so we start to deconstruct it it's all deconstructed so then what we can do is start to unfold it unwrap it and put it into our uv so we can then take it into substance painter and start to texture it have some cool textures so what we do is start from the top again and on your right side you have a few options so you have unfolds uh, align and snap and arrange and layouts don't just get yourself confused with these arrange and layout and align the snap just ignore them for now this is very basic we're just gonna look at the basics understand these so then we can make that foundation to start using these more advanced tools um, and what we also can have open so we've got cut and sew we can close that we just want to unfold and create so create allows you to actually um, it starts to unfold it actually so you've got like cylindrical spherical so it'll create a um, like I'll create the UV map based off of these shapes. So if you click cylindrical, sometimes you know sometimes it's not going to work. It's not really a cylindrical shape. Um, we can click planar. Um, so these are so you, your options that you can use. What I like to do is just click automatic on stuff that's circular, just because it makes a nice little circle. And I'm just going to scale that and move it. I'm not going to worry too much on the scale because I'm going to show you a way to scale everything. Uh, just be a click or a button. Um, so that's that one. Let me do the bottom one as well. Let's bring it over here. I'm just going to click automatic because it does it for me. And line it up with my other one. There we 
go and I'm just going to scale it just so it sort of looks similar. There we go. So next we're going to move on to the next section. So these, cir these circular shapes are nice and easy. But I am then going to move on to sort of the next bit here. Well, this is going to be wood. Um, so there are ways we can do this. So we can click on fold. You'll see it does a really weird shape. Um, Maya is, is like that sometimes. Uh, we click cylindrical. Because this is cylindrical, it's a cylinder. I just click cylindrical and it'll unfold that for me. It'll unfold it in a perfectly straight line. For what, so then I can just sort of move that over and create that there. Um, if you click this little box here as well, this little checker box, you can see how your UVs are reacting. So if they stretch like this, we need to go in and start to scale it right to make these square in shape. So there we go. So I know if I start to uniform scale that down, them squares are going to get bigger, but they're not going to get warped. We want actual squares. Can make them bigger, smaller, but these want to be squares. If they are like this, you start to see sort of rectangular in shape. When you then put your textures on, it's going to start to warp it. That's that's called warping. Uh, what we want is it to be as square as possible. Again, I'm not worrying too much on the size. Um, I just want to make sure they're squared. So we turn that off. Next one. Again, we can just click cylindrical. And just make sure them squares are looking square. You see right now, they're a really sort of flat cuboid shape. Just going to scale that up a little bit. Try and match the texture above it. There we go. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to line them up over here out of the way. Just leaving this area free. So again, you see here, if you look at that, all these squares are just completely different you know the incorrect it's kind of gone everywhere so we're just going to go on it click cylindrical and again just try and scale it down a bit and make them squares look square you know, right now they're looking a bit rectangular so i'm just using the scale tool which is our on your keyboard and just quickly doing that so i'm gonna do it for the rest really quick so again right click uv shell clicking on my uv that i want to edit clicking cylindrical and then all I'm doing is scaling it to sort of reflect what it needs to reflect on the screen. And let me do the rest. So quickly that one cylindrical. Bring it across, scale it down. To sort of look like squares rather than rectangles. That's fine. And the next one is this one. So we're just gonna click it, click cylindrical, and do this. So you see the start to look more square in shape rather than cuboids there we go scale that up slightly you see it does take some time sometimes because it's issues like this let me just scale that down there we go that fixes that i'm just gonna make it look more square and then the last one yeah last one just click cylindrical again bring that across and scaling it just to look more square. There we go. So to quickly get all these into your UV map, all you have to do is right click UV shell, drag them all and press Control and L on your keyboard. This will bring them all into UV shell. So if like me, you've got your UVs all over, you can have them all over here. Just highlight them all, Control and L. L for Liam with it, and then just drag it over and it'll bring it all into this, this fill this space for you. So what we can do is we've got a lot of area over here that's not really getting used. So we can bring stuff in, um like you see your, your sort of caps and scale them up. Now what we don't want to do is areas that we're not gonna see, you don't want to give more a UV map for. So say the bottom of the barrel here that you're never gonna see, you don't want to make that have most of the area. Because you're just gonna add textures, getting that really good texture resolution on an area that's never gonna be seen. Um, so what you want to do is areas like the middle, so the middle sections here, you really want to be sort of allocating a decent amount of space for them. Um, some of these, like this one, you can't really add much more because it's quite large in your UV. But areas like this, you can just scale it up. So I'll bring it over here, turn that off so I can see, and just get a bit more space because we've got that full UV map. There's no point wasting space. Drag that over, 
Next section, UV, UV shell. Scale that up a bit. It's 49 UV. Next little bits, I think it's that one. Yeah, so just move these out of the way. Bring that over. Scale it up. Because this is going to be the area that you see in your game, it's just best to have this, you know, having the more space in UV map. Because then when we come in to get them textures, you can add a lot more detail. It's going to be a lot more high resolution. And you're not just wasting space. So let me grab this cylinder, put it in here. And then that's it. That is all you need to do for your UVs. So you'll see, you've got all your tools here. Uh, you can use, like I say, for, for some things it does work using automatic, but it's best to use cylindrical um, or what the shape is. So if the shape's a cube and it's a flat face, we can use planar. Uh, we can use camera base if you line things up, but then you have to go in and start editing. Um, or you can unfold, but it's just a case of sort of trial and error. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you'll be using sort of a, a shape like this that is cylindrical in shape, but when you use the cylindrical option, it will mess up slightly. So you have to go in and start to unfold it and straighten the UVs. Um, but that's it for your barrel, and um, you can then use these tools to do the rest of your assets for your room.